says not on air. There we are. Okay, so that's working now. Welcome. Hello. It looks like it's working now. Now it is working. Let me turn my volume down. Oh, good. Okay, so let me turn off the overlay. Uh, the overlay, y'all, is the, the instructions that are up above. And I'll push those if you want. If you're new and you've not uh, watched us before, then... Uh, that'll give you a little bit details, uh, about how to shop and like, there's like rules and stuff and all that jazz. So hello. Uh, <clears throat> so if you come down here, uh, this is going to be one of the options you can clip on. Don't buy that. It's 99, 900. It's, it's a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. It's not for sale. Uh, it's not meant for you to buy. It's just an informational tool for you to be able to learn. Uh, about shopping in studios, and then about live studios, and then the VIP bag spa. Uh, there's been lots of y'all that have been asking me about repairing these bags, uh, and or uh, rehabbing the bags, some of the, the bags that you already have from me. Uh, if you send me pictures of what you want me to do to them, or if it's just a normal clean and what have you, then I can do that for you. Just let me know what it is, and I'll tell you uh, what I would charge you to do it. Uh, and more or less, if you just... I mean, if you pack it and ship it nicely, then it should be pretty easy for me to repair, especially for a bag that I've already worked on before. So anyway, just FYI, putting that out there for you. Okay, so this is one of the ones that's a that's a a um an instructional tool. So if it's up there, it looks like it might be up there. Here, hold on, let me join. I can't see the app myself. It should come up there in just a second. Hold on. Let's see. Product details. Hello. Welcome. All day for this. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so first of all, if there's anybody in here that's wanting something, something specific, uh, let me know. Uh, my mod is in here as well. Uh, my mod is Tay. Uh, and there are, you know, regulars obviously that are in here. Some people will want to comment and some people do not. If you do not want to comment, you do not have to. You can send me a message. Some of y'all have my personal phone numbers. Uh, if you don't want to comment and, uh, you know, possibly, uh, remain anonymous, that's perfectly fine as well. So just FYI, uh, I can't play music and I'm not going to play music this time because this is going to be pushed out to YouTube. I did last time and unfortunately it did not end up in a way where I could use it and get marketing and uh, not playing music actually helps me on YouTube because a lot more people will see my videos. So that being said, if you've never been here before, hi, welcome. Uh, hopefully uh, everything is going to work out correctly today. Uh, I don't, it seems like there's been several issues where it's like going in and out, but uh, as long as we can make it through, that's all that really matters. And if you have any questions, you're going to shop at elliotsluxury.com. If you come into, uh, uh, I don't have any Neverfulls now. Uh, it's really not something I buy a lot of as a Neverfull. It's so common. Uh, there's not a lot of margins in a, in a Neverfull. But great question. Okay, so um, if I take this little uh, thing off here, that's just for you to read, basically, uh, so that you can learn about how to shop. So if you go in there, it'll give you descriptions. And then the other ones that I have that are in here are about luxury live studios. So that's going to tell you about me, about how long I've been doing this, how I got into it, where I started, all of that jazz. And if you click into the particular listings, like I'm pulling up right now, they're just for instructional. So that's only for you to get an idea of exactly what I'm talking about and how I got here and how we started all this in the first place. Okay. You can go back that back and read that as your leisure. Don't hit buy though. Just hit the gray portion. So you're just going to hit this portion up here and it will bring up a, a listing for you so that you can read exactly what I'm talking about. And if you want to come in here and schedule a time to shop with me live in my own studio, then you can do that as well, especially if you're local, because there'll be a lot of people. Hello. There'll be a lot of people that, uh, want that have started to inquire. I've had since I started offering the VIP experience, we've had three people come in here studio one from Texas, one from Oklahoma City, and one from Denver that have flown in here. 
And so uh, it's been kind of cool to meet people and people get an opportunity to at least be able to meet me. Uh, and so anyhow, that being said. All right. So this one is the VIP uh, or VIP shopping experience. It should. Okay. So if you pull up this one, it'll tell you about how to come in here and actually shop. And it will tell you, you know, the, how the details and all that. It's basically, um, you know, an opportunity for me to tell you what looks good on you uh, and what kind of bags maybe you might want to buy. Uh, because that's really what I specialize in is finding somebody that really likes purses and start to style them with the kind of silhouettes that they want. Uh, because if they can't see the silhouettes that they want, they don't know what looks good on them. I mean, it's not like you walk up to a personal a person in strange and be like, hey, you like this purse on my arm? Uh, what about in contrast to this over here? And if you ask your girlfriends, your girlfriends are always kind of biased. Like, I love asking girlfriends questions. But if you really want the truth, you should ask somebody that's not really invested uh, in nothing but making you look really good in your purse standing out to the rest of the community. It's just a, a personal thing for me anyway. All right. So then the next one is going to be the bag spa. So the VIP bag spa is open for customers that have actually purchased something from me in the past. So if you've purchased something from me in the past and it was sold in this studio within the last year and this side, not over there, then I'm willing to work on it. So that means that it had already passed my inspection. It would have been sold something that was would have been sold as a retail item, not an auction item. Big difference. One is wholesale. One had damages. One didn't. So those are the two differences between our past previous business. So in here, I don't really sell anything that it should be damaged or anything like that. We don't really want those kind of items in the luxury live studios. So if you are considering next one is considering trying to come in here and sell. Okay. There is an opportunity for other people to come in here and sell as well. Uh, I have not gotten into that yet. We do have a seller that may possibly be selling in here. I will talk more with them when it's the time comes. Uh, but it's going to be literally a, a combination sale. So it'll be me up here and someone else down there or them only talking and them only selling you while I'm producing them in the back, back behind the scenes, because someone else can be on luxury live without actually you being here or in the luxury live studio. So you could be at home in your own studio, in your own selling environment and live on luxury live selling to the community of luxury live if that makes sense. So uh, that was where, and the trajectory that I had in mind for this particular uh, app it, before I was even affiliated with uh, Poshmark. So if you're watching from Poshmark, hello, welcome, hi. Uh, and then, okay, so this one's about Elliot's luxury. And then uh, this is the 100% guarantee. So if it is sold here on Luxury Live uh, or elliotsluxury.com, obviously it's real. Uh, I, I presume that it is real and I've gone through it and cleaned it and I've authenticated it. If not, if for whatever reason you uh, find out that this item is uh, counterfeit and I bought it or I sold it to you, uh, obviously I'm going to give your money back uh, if you can prove that it was the one that I sold you. And uh, that's really that. I think that's everybody or at least everyone should offer that kind of money back guarantee. Uh, but not everyone looks like they're going to be here uh, tomorrow. You know, I think we've all gone through someone's show before or and maybe seen someone say uh, money back guarantee. And it's like, oh, money back guarantee and what until tomorrow? Because uh, you look like you could be gone tomorrow. Um, uh, literally tomorrow. How long have you been selling on this platform? Uh, so a money back guarantee doesn't really stand a chance in some environments because it's just kind of like, oh, OK, money back guarantee. Terrifying, but all right. Uh, and then how to shop. This particular listing is going to tell you how to shop. It's pretty self-explanatory, but for some people, it will be a little bit difficult. Luxury Live app is where you watch, okay? And then where you buy is elliotsluxury.com. So if you're watching me right now here, if you minimize and you go back to the app, so you click that little arrow up here, a little white arrow, and you go to the account side over here. There's a lower button on the right-hand part of your screen that says account. Well, this is going to go to my website. If the item is already listed, then it will should already be on my website. If it's not on my website and it has not been listed yet, 
all you got to do is say, hey, I want you to list that item that you showed during the show. Okay. It's really, it's very, very simple. Not everything I have is listed because I get stuff in all the time. And sometimes I don't have time to take 30 pictures of an item when it gets in. Just to be really clear. I think we all have seen items in here that probably have not been listed at some point or another. So don't fret. Just let me know what you want me to list. And how do you do that? Well, you hit this chat feature button down here. There is a chat feature button on my website. And you can type in what it is that you'd like. So if you see something back here and you want to buy, I don't know, this. And you say, hey, look, I want to buy that uh, Dior bag. Uh, you know, I heard you say the price and I'm interested and I want you to list it. Uh, and then you, I will list it. Uh, so if you have a question about something being listed, that's how you handle that. All right. And then, okay, so we're going to X out of there. And we're going to go back to the app. So if you go back to the app, we're going to go to done. And then if you go back to the account side, there's my Instagram, there's my Patreon, my TikTok, and then there's two links down here, one for real authentication and one for authenticate for uh, authentication first. Uh, these are two of the companies that I suggest that you use to authenticate your goods. Uh, those are going to be for people that are uh, individuals, uh, people that are not uh, business luxury sellers. That's going to be an opportunity for you to take maybe this item if you were to buy it, okay? And then you're going to authenticate it when you get it. I've already authenticated this. This has been authenticated with entropy. It's been authenticated, I believe, with real authentication. And then it was authenticated from the person that I bought it from. But when you buy this, this here, you have to authenticate it. Else you don't know whether or not it's authenticated or not. And it's important that you do it when you get it because you have peace of mind. If you're going to try to insure something with your insurance, that's going to be the first opportunity and the first place that you're going to want to authenticate an item specifically because your insurance company is not just going to take their, your word for it that you spent, you know, $4,000 on a Louis Vuitton bag that was from 2019, you know? Uh, insurance are not in the in the business of paying out customers uh, what things are worth. They're in the business of saving money and not losing money. So the first uh, thing that you're going to want to do is authenticate that item immediately. Uh, this is for sale. This is actually on my website if you're interested. Uh, this is uh, $4,995. Uh, you can make an offer if you'd like. Um, this is from the men's collection. It's a heavy-duty bag with a very heavy-duty strap gold hardware it's beautiful so if you're in the market and you can you know uh you could also hey you know you also what you also could do is shop pay a lot of y'all have been like hey i really want to buy that bag but i don't have that kind of money and i'm like yeah i know i i know this hello uh, the economy is uh shit and uh a lot of people uh can't afford luxury right now that's no secret um but you can shop pay it you can split those payments up between your paychecks and have it go out of your bank account. I, I, those are the things that people do in order to buy the things that they want. You, nobody can afford to go out and buy a $90,000 car today, but there's plenty of $90,000 cars driving on the road every day. You know? Uh, so these are the things that you do in order to afford the things that you want when you're in a position where you can't afford them. Because you're not the only one. There's lots of people that cannot afford a $5,000 bag a $4,000 bag, or even a $500 bag, you can still buy one on shop pay. So if you're here to shop and you actually are serious about it and you're watching this now, or you're watching it in a replay, or you want to watch this later. Okay. Cause you don't even have to buy it now. You can watch this later. So don't forget that this is all recorded. That's what I love about this particular situation and instance and app is that I could chop all this up and put it on my Instagram, put it on YouTube and get much, much, much more viewage out of one show than having to rush through three shows a day in order to get the audience that I wanted. And you can pause this. Once this goes out to YouTube, you can watch this on your Apple TV. You can watch this on any YouTube app friendly item that you have because it'll be on YouTube. There are already two other shows that are full shows that are about an hour long on YouTube. So FYI, uh, if you're interested in watching there, you definitely can. Uh, I'm going to move you, uh, just kind of move you over because I'm about to walk off the screen and I want you to see where I'm going.
Now we are live on Instagram as well, but uh, obviously I won't be keeping Instagram uh, uh, up front with what's going on because the point is for you to go to the app. Okay, so I'm gonna put us on the other uh, on the other camera, and I'm gonna show you some jewelry. I've got, I've got some bags to show you as well. Uh, if you see something in here that you're wanting to see, then let me know. Uh, I do have lots and lots of Gucci. Lots and lots of things are already listed. Uh, this is going to be my Chanel corner over here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of bags. So th there's about 600 bags here in the Luxury Live studios. Uh, and probably about 1,000 SLGs. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, so let me clear uh, the overlay so we don't have to see that. And then I'm going to try to uh, get us to where we can see the other camera really quickly. Let me go get that camera really quickly. One moment. Okay, so if we add a camera, let's add a camera. We want a camera. A camera. It was acting. I was messing with. It. I wanted to act, mess up. This is like technology with being able to scream through two different cameras at the same time on the one screen. And there we go. I think it's going to work now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think it's working. Hold on, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Okay, I think it is working. Hold on. Just thinking about it. It's a lot for this uh, <laughs> program. Hold on. Right now, it looks like both of them are active. Hold on. I can see that it's uh, streaming. Turn that on. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's working correctly, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the main computer. Hold on. I'm going to move you over here. over here. I don't have time to troubleshoot the other, so we're just going to move you.
bring my main computer in here. Sorry, hold on. This whole app runs off of a computer. All right. So now then. Now then. All right, so let me move you over so you can see. Let's make sure the light looks good. Does the light look good? It does look pretty good. It doesn't look, look too dark. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's get started. So uh, this here is an item uh, that I've been offering, uh, I want to say for the last couple of days. Uh, I'll probably send it off on Tuesday. Uh, this is $2,500, and the reason why it's so cheap is because it needs to be replated on one eyelet. And so if you are uh, somebody that's into this particular bag and you can deal with the one eyelet, then uh, then um, this is the eyelet uh, that has uh, plating loss. This is an early 90s bag. This is going to be a Diana. She's super cute. This does have a lot of uh, rigidness to it. I've got this t same style of bag uh, in much better condition and in, in this same kind of color that's a Paris anniversary color, uh, a Paris anniversary version. And basically what that means is that it has a silver and a gold CC instead of two gold ones. Again, this is a Diana. If you're interested in this one, it's 2,500 and that's firm. That's the lowest I'm going to go. Uh, I will uh, probably replate this one. And if I replate it, I'm probably going to put about 5,000 on it. If you're interested in getting this one before it's replated in the condition that it's in, uh, this one I can do 2500 on if you are a Chanel girl. This one I would recommend it's probably like maybe your second or third uh, and not your first. Uh, it could be your first. It would be a great first uh, Chanel bag, but I would never recommend this color for your first Chanel. Ever, 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 never, never, ever, never. So uh, 2500 is how much I'm asking for that one. If you're interested, uh, just let us know down below or you can message me. At elliotsluxury.com, if you're watching at a later period, maybe a replay or what have you. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee really quickly. So if you see any of these beautiful earrings that you like, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to show you one of those if you're interested. Uh, here's some uh, still views of those if you want. And uh, let me open these windows behind us so we can get some natural light. It's not too, it's, well, I, I don't know who I'm kidding. It's actually really hot in Oklahoma right now, so <laughs> I don't know who. I do not know who I am kidding because uh, it is actually uh, pretty damn hot. There's some more movement for you if you want to look at those really quickly. Now, as I said, this will also be pushed out to, to, um, YouTube and so people will be able to watch it there too but it's, it's interesting because I've had lots of people that are new that have started to watch these uh, that are on YouTube and they've never seen my stuff before so yeah hot in Iowa yeah I imagine so Iowa is very similar to their climate here in Oklahoma the economy is the same too pretty much Oh, Lordy. Okay, so um, for the most part, um, this particular joint over here is going to be lots of beautiful earrings, okay? Now, I'll bring these up close to you. If you have a question about pricing, I'll definitely get back with you almost immediately. If you, again, what do you have to do? All you got to do is go to my app or, and my website, okay? So if you're watching in app now, uh, and or if I push this off to Instagram, uh, this also uh, will be pushed off live to Instagram. So uh, when people can't be here, uh, I also can push this out like late at night. And as you can see, I probably you probably saw me do that a couple times on Instagram where late night, la late last night and on Facebook where I was pushing a show out that was previously recorded from a couple days ago into the feed because I got to catch people when they're on and people shop late at night and they shop early, early in the morning. So not only am I able to push these out toward YouTube, but I'm also able to push the same thing out on Instagram, but you don't get the same experience. It's not as high quality. Cause I, I don't know if you can tell, but 
the quality while we're sitting here, in my opinion, is much better than any other live platform than I've seen someone try to sell high-end items on. And I don't know about you, but the quality and the items and the conditions are very, very, very important when we start talking about vintage items because you've got collectors that want the best of the best, or you might have somebody that doesn't care as much about quality and condition. Maybe they're more worried about uh, just the item. They love the item as it is. I've, I've found plenty of items that, you know, somebody has tried to clean up afterwards and it's been insulting that it was misrepresented as it was vintage and original with the patina and then someone took the patina off of it. Because if your intentions are to have earrings that have a little bit of a patina, I've got those for you. These are super shiny and pretty and gorgeous, but I do have ones that are also I have a little bit of a patina because there are girls out there that do enjoy something that doesn't look nice and shiny. It has a little bit of a patina. Uh, it's not, but we're not going for new bright uh, money look. We're going for, we want vintage look. And so I uh, completely understand. And I'm going to stop this just so it's not as distracting. Uh, but I have these back here. These are cha-cha. I love the, uh, the texture around these. These give me vibes of like, a 1960s, like, gold-gilded, like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a specific word. Uh, but these give me mid-century modern uh, era feels. Like, they just, they remind me of, like, water faucets. They remind me of lights, chandeliers of this era, uh, and much later than this era. Now, this is early 90s. These are early 80s, 90s. But these look a lot older. They have that architectural design of much older. They could be like 1920s, 30s, 40s. And if you're someone that enjoys that kind of texture to your outfits or you're trying to you know, bring away the uh, attention of your face or make your face... Uh, look longer or you're, you're trying, look, I love these. If you're interested, uh, let me know. They do have a, uh, a rhinestone that is not real in the interior uh, portions that are just the center, but these are gorgeous. And these are approximately three fourths of an inch, three fourths of an inch. They are clip-ons and these do have a little bit of patina. So it look, could have been an heirloom piece in the family. And that's what I like to say about patina is that we're shopping for stuff that could have been an heirloom. So what if these actually did come from your grandma? I would be, these would be the ones that I would want to wear uh, and try to save as long as I possibly could because they came from my uh, mamaw. Mine would have been mamaw, not grandma, but. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, all right, so let's see about these. Let me show you these really pretty ones because these are gorgeous and these do have a patina. Again, if you're offended about it, a patina, uh, then you won't want these, uh, but these do have a little bit of a patina. Let me, I got a thank you card over here from a customer, uh, that I might be able to show those up a little bit more in detail. So those do have a little bit of a patina and they are for pierced ears and they are, uh, like a curvaceous, uh, like a medallion and they do have texture. The texture on these kind of remind me of like a, like a prohibition era, you know, like liquor store in the early, early, early uh, times where they used to put like metal tin roofs in those old buildings and stuff. That's what the texture looks like on these. And these are more brassy than gold. So the difference would be these two. One is a high polish and one is a gold gold. One is more of a flat gold. So that's kind of the difference between the two of these. So if you're in the, to these, you know, you like the more vintage look. These are approximately a three-fourths of, of an inch around as well. And again, clip-ons. You can go and order some of those little plastic presses if you want, if you're really sensitive to earrings that are clip-on. I also am very sensitive uh, to earrings that are clip-on. And if I find ones that are really painful for me to wear generally, um, I won't sell them. Uh, just because I, whoop, I don't want you to wear them every time I'd be like, you know, Justin, you told me that these were giving me, give me a headache, uh, because my earlobes are also very sensitive. So if I like the earrings, I normally will try to test them out for you. These are also a pair again, that I like to try, like to try uh, out for you. These did not come up 
uh, with the detail last time I showed them as much as I wanted them to. These are Chanel and these are uh, dangly. They do have a little bit of a dangle. And I love the dangle. Uh, they do have a lot of natural movement. And they are relatively light. So if you like something that's not like in your face Chanel, uh, these are not in your face Chanel. These are uh, you know, quite a luxury kind of in my mind. I mean, they're gorgeous. Uh, but I wouldn't immediately think that these are Chanel if I was to wear these. And they do hang down uh, three inches from the lobe. So three inches of dangly from the top to the bottom. I would say they probably hang about an inch, maybe an inch and a half off the lobe. So anyhow, they're gorgeous. If you like these, they do have, again, a lot of movement. I could just see you talking with your your face and they're going to be moving all over the place. Just uh, And you're probably going to be just find yourself literally doing this so that you can see them. <laughs> I would. Uh, because they're that, that pretty. So, uh, if you have any interest in these, these are really pretty. All right. So that's those. And again, from the bottom to the top, these are from, they're right at three inches, uh, from the bottom to the very top of the medallion. And they are pretty light. So if you love those, those are available. And I have tons and tons of stuff up here. Uh, let me uh, show you what's up here first, if you want. Uh, these are some Hermes. I don't know how well those are showing up, uh, but we can see uh, what they look like in just a second. There is about a 30 second lag as this is being recorded. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you can see Hermes on there. I'll try to show you a little bit closer. These are probably about a half an inch in width. Uh, or diameter, I guess I should say. And they are uh, pierced ears. These are older, okay? These are definitely older. When I first got, the, got these, they did have a patina on them, and I did remove the patina uh, just because I thought they were much more cleaner uh, to wear as is like this. Uh, there is one of those little gummy uh, kind of press on things on here. You can easily remove that if you want and replace it with a new uh, crisp, nice rubber push clip uh, for a pad for your ear. Uh, so if you wanted to do that, you could. Uh, next is going to be these gorgeous Chanel earrings here. These have an iridescent. These have a very, a little bit of an iridescent. And they are embossed. So I don't know how well you can see these, but these are listed at elliotsluxury.com already. These are uh, an iridescent raspberry, uh, and they're really pretty. These are uh, an inch and a half, or no, I'm sorry. They're a half an inch in width. And then these are really gorgeous. I've tried these on for y'all several times. Uh, these have a really gorgeous pearl behind them with those large CCs. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, they do have very gorgeous uh, CCs. And these are pretty big, very nice baubles. They have woven basket weave on the side and they're in very, very good condition. And then these, I don't think these showed up very well on the last live, um, but as you can see, those have green in them. Hopefully you can see the green. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, those look pretty good on there. Those are a, a very pretty earthy, like iridescent kind of, of, of stones on there. And these are pretty big. Uh, these particular ones are three-fourths of an inch three-fourths of an inch approximately uh, inch, three-fourths of an inch uh, along and then half an inch in like height. So in your ears, these are going to be pretty large. Let me show you. See how big those are going to be? Now these are for pierced ears. So if you do uh, wear pierced earrings, then these would be a really good for you. I actually really like these. I thought about keeping these. I know I'm terrible, but you can rescue them from me if you want to buy them. 
Uh, and how do we buy things? Well, all you have to do is message me at elliotsluxury.com and show your interest. And when you do, I will message you back. And if they're not listed, then I'll list them. And if they are listed, uh, then I'll just uh, tell you to uh, either go look on the website or I'll try to post them for you, give you a link. These are nice. They have a really pretty green. So again, these are, this is what they look like in the ear. And this is what they look like up close. And they are pretty big. Again, these are real, not, not, not authentic. So FYI. Um, I don't know how much these are off the top of my head, um, but I'm happy to provide photos for you and a price if you inquire. Inquire within uh, at elliotsluxury.com. So if you're watching this live or if you're watching the replay live it later, uh, we do have shoppers that watch live and then they watch uh, the replay because uh, there's just so much to see at one time. Whereas you can kind of control uh, the pace at your own t own speed versus my speed. Now, these are super pretty. I just got these in and they are high gloss for sure. Uh, these um, are about an inch in radius. One inch in radius, which is a very, very nice uh, a size. It's a very big size. Uh, these are also uh, around that same size. And then so are these. These all are very gorgeous. Now, these are more quiet luxury versus these are more in-your-face cha-cha luxury. And all of these, every single one of them, is approximately an inch, an inch in radius. And they're all beautiful. Now, these middle ones here are more just flat. There's no dome off the lobe. So if you like the dome off the lobe, it does give like more texture. Like it gives, I don't, in my mind, when I was selling jewelry uh, full time, uh, I always like a dome type earring because it does kind of elude the, the eye into your face. And if you're, you know, doing a particular makeup style, a dome will be better than just a flat off the lobe because the flat off the lobe just kind of like gives you a wall off the ear. I know, I, I know y'all probably like, he has lost his mind, but look, these are the things that I notice y'all. So this is why I share them with you. So it's uh, important to take this stuff into consideration. Like I want you to be able to enjoy the items that I'm showing you. And you know, the best way for me to describe uh, you know, these are to kind of tell you exactly how I would wear them, how I would style them on you. These are perfect for every day, every day. These are going to be close up on your lobe. Uh, and as long as you're not sleeping in your earrings, these would be great. I do not recommend they're going to sleep in these earrings. Uh, that was a question that one of my girls asked me a couple days ago is, can I sleep in these? And I said, absolutely not. Please do not sleep in these. Um, I, any of the ones that I've showed you, I would not sleep in any of them. Uh, they're just not made for that. They're too big. Uh, they're too pretty and they're vintage. Uh, most of these are going to be, you know, 10, 15 years old. And so I would recommend, and please do not sleep in them. I also used to be, and if I wasn't selling luxury full time, I, I would probably also have some studs in here, uh, that were probably diamond. And I used to sleep in, 1960s original set, uh, uh, one carat between uh, both ears. So half carat each one. And I lost one of them in my house and I could not find it. I've looked and looked and looked and looked. And if I know myself, I probably vacuumed it up and it's probably gone by now. Uh, but finding that one earring setting, it probably never happened again. I probably will never be able to find those earrings in that setting ever again. And they were flawless diamonds, absolutely flawless. Uh, and I got them from an estate sale in Oklahoma. And uh, it was from a, a pretty uh, a middle class family. And back when, when, you know, that's what you would give your wife is the best kind of diamond in the largest size that you could afford. And it was his wife's earrings and she never wore them because she didn't want to lose them. And I had the opportunity to buy them. And so I wore those probably for about four years and they were screw back and I miss them dearly. They were the perfect size and they were the most sparkly diamond earrings you've ever seen that were so small. And people would comment on them. Oh, I love your earrings. 
because the quality was amazing. The shine from those little bitty earrings were so much prettier than a big giant diamond. Uh, and so, anyway, it's not always about the size when it comes to a diamond. Anyway, I'm going to clear all of these off. If you have any interest in any of these, please let me know. Uh, we do have more earrings, uh, but only so much time. And so uh, I try to remind myself that these are recorded and I don't have to rush. Um, and so there's always new stuff to see. And if you didn't get to see something today in the detail that you wanted to uh, as we go, then all you got to do is ask me, uh, again, on my website. Uh, you can buy on my website, which is elliotsluxury.com. That's where you're going to buy at. And if you have any questions, you can use the live chat feature. Uh, I do have a new bag to show you right here. This is fresh from the bag spa today. This is going to be a uh, Christian Dior. She is absolutely stunning, as you can see. Silver hardware with that chain link handle. Now, I've already sold this same bag to one of my girls before. Uh, my battery is dying in this thing. Uh, it's okay. I'll charge it. But uh, this I've already sold to one of my girls before. Uh, the same bag. Not this one. This one is for sale. Uh, the one that I sold to her was in red, and uh, as far as I know, she absolutely loves it. I do have this same bag in yellow, if you're interested in yellow. And it is beautiful. I absolutely love this bag. Uh, that's the reason why I got another one, is because I love the red one, and the red one sold. So uh, this one is going to be a silver hardware. Uh, if you want to see the yellow one, I'll show it to you really quickly. If you're a yellow purse girl... Uh, some people love yellow, and some people absolutely hate yellow. So if you don't like yellow, then you won't like it. But This is the Chick-fil-A sauce yellow one. And that one does have a little bit of a natural ombre to it as well. Uh, so if you don't like the black one, uh, then you could possibly buy the yellow one. Both are for sale. Uh, you can make an offer at elliotsluxury.com if you're interested. Now, I did have a lady that was interested in one of my uh, quilted, uh, the one that we were talking about kind of gave us Neverfull, or no, not Neverfull, uh, gave us um, uh, Kelly vibes, and that was that beautiful Chanel uh, tote. Now, they did not buy it, uh, not yet. Uh, so if you're just now seeing this little girl, she's not so little. She's actually pretty big. She's silver hardware, uh, and it's a beautiful black, aged quilted tote that one is beautiful um and i'll be sure and charge my will uh so that we can use it um tomorrow i'm sure we'll have a show tomorrow too at some point i don't really know what time yet uh so just fyi um just make sure you follow me and i did give a um i think a, a 90 minute a 30 minute i think warning uh that we were going to go live so if you miss us then this one is $2,995. She does uh, come with her duster. She has no call outs. This one is beautiful. If you're interested, it's a gorgeous bag. Uh, this one just needs, um, you know, somebody that's going to use her. And if not, then I'm perfectly happy to uh, continue storing her. So uh, let me know. I did put her in her duster, though. Uh, I thought somebody was going to pull a trigger on her, but not yet. Uh, so she is still available. And if not, then I'll put her back on the shelf floor tomorrow. Okay, let's see. Let me show you some earring. I mean, some necklaces really quickly uh, before we go into the other room. Uh, this one is going to be a little cha-cha. And I believe that's an 18-inch uh, necklace. And then this one, these are going to be little Dior's. Uh, these would look great with those earrings that we've got back here. Let's see. Let me show you those really quickly. This one and this one. These would make really good uh, matches uh, with these particular earrings. You should see those in just a second. Kind of showing you everything. So if you're if you're enjoying this, then I hope you are, um, because there's so much stuff to see, folks. Um, just let me know if you see anything that you just absolutely love, and I'll list it and I'll give you the price if you'd like. Now, again, you can buy this stuff with Shop Pay. Uh, these are the the Dior earrings that I was talking about that would look good uh, with this particular necklaces that you can see. 
that are down below. I'll show you the necklaces up close again really quickly if you want. Hold on a second. Here's those. There's this gorgeous little uh, heart with Dior with pave diamonds. Uh, or pave rhinestones is what I should say. And then the little D that has the pave stones on it too. So those are both a uh, silver uh, plate designer. And then you've got this monstrous Chanel. This is a two by three. So two inches high and three inches in width. And then this one is going to be this gorgeous little gold uh, girl right here. This one's got a purple and black. Here's the back of it. This is 18 inches as well. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. That one's going to be more of a dainty chain. More dainty. And then, let's see. Here, I'll show you a ring if you'd like. While we're just uh, letting the others twirl. Uh, this ring here is the Chanel. This is size six and a half. And it is gorgeous. Uh, from the early 90s. This is listed on my website at elliotsluxury.com. As well as some of these other items, y'all, this large uh, Chanel uh, necklace is actually on my website as well. Uh, these earrings, I don't believe, are on the website yet. And uh, there are uh, there are a lot of things that I've showed you today that are already on the website. So you just have to go and uh, see, and you can make an offer there. And then you can get financing if you need financing. I did show these uh, really pretty Jimmy Choo. Uh, that are in here last time. If you have any interest in some beautiful shoes, they are size 41. Uh, they're extraordinarily painful. I will not lie to you. Uh, that's how I know that they are very, very, very sexy uh, because they are painful. They are very, very painful. They will make you want to rethink life. I promise you. Um, that's how I know that they are absolutely stunning. Uh, they would also look very, very good with my Dior, or no, I'm sorry, not Dior, my um, my Dolce Gabbana uh, a purse that I'll show you here in just a second if you're interested. So those are size 41, and they are very, very, very painful, but they are very beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that about how it works, though? It's like always the cutest shoes are always the most painful. And that's just how you know that you look damn good in those heels. I actually wore those uh, one evening with a man's suit. Uh, and um, they wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, it was an event here in Tulsa. And the ladies went hog wild uh, for me in these shoes. Uh, here is the back and the bottom. Uh, they do have just a tiny bit as normal signs of use on the bottom, but you can see the price tag uh, was or is still there. They do not have any major damage on the feet or the prongs. These do come with the box. Um, again, size 41, if anybody's out there. These are listed on Poshmark right now, used by someone else for $1,000. One thousand dollars. Someone is asking for these shoes on Poshmark, um, and so I just want to bring that out there as a comparison. Uh, and I also want to say that they can uh, dream on, dream away, because uh, I think they've lost their mind. Uh, maybe their husband said, "Take those shoes away. You never wear those. List those on Poshmark." Maybe that's what happened. And uh, they just decided, uh, maybe they just decided, uh, the price on the floral saddlebag, okay, give me just a second, I'll show you that. Uh, this is that beautiful uh, sequin that I was talking about, y'all. Um, and she is a gorgeous bag. That one, uh, I, lots of people have looked at it, but nobody's really been like super duper like ready to amped up to buy it yet. Like, which, which candy in the candy store do you buy next? You know, it's kind of hard to pick which one. Uh, let me put the uh, Dior up there really quickly. And like I said, I'll charge this thing uh, overnight. I was actually thinking about ordering another uh, because, especially with the way we're doing it now, where we can be a little bit more relaxed and I don't have to show, like, 
300 bags in one day uh, on uh, other platforms. And this stuff is recorded, y'all. So it makes it a lot easier for me to be a little bit more relaxed. And I don't have to show it all on Monday. Uh, so anyway, that being said, uh, this particular Dior bag uh, does have minor signs of use on it. This was sold um, This was sold to me by um, the same owner as another bag that I bought, this other Dior. And um, this one has a little bit more wear on it than any other of my other Dior's. So of this one, this one has the most signs of use. It's not bad. It's all normal. But these are a light canvas, and they do get uh, kind of dirty, uh, especially if you wear them and enjoy them. It's just normal signs of wear on this one. But this one is $2,999 if you're interested or best offer. Um, and it's a 10 by 7 by 7 with a 2-inch width. Um, and so this one is a silver hardware, and it's a high-polished silver hardware as well. Uh, these have a back pocket. Now, this one actually is an oblique bag. Uh, this is not the cheaper style of uh, the saddlebags. Now, I've got, I believe, six saddlebags in my collection right now. Uh, definitely proud of every single one of them. Uh, the last one that I just added is that gorgeous tench Tancherine Dream is what I like to call her. Uh, because it is a, a beautiful orange color with red piping. Uh, you can't ask, can't ask for much better than that, I don't think. Um, the other ones that I would show you while we're in here, if you're looking for a dressy bag, is going to be this Valentino. Uh, this one is a Valentino with uh, a lizard hander, handles and lizard upper. Uh, she is kind of heavy. Let's hope it doesn't make this thing mad. Um, this one is brand new with the tags. It is a stunning bag. Uh, that particular one is waiting for a night out. Uh, she's waiting for, you know, somewhere to go. I feel like that one is, is very beautiful. The art and the construction of that one is amazing. Uh, and then this one here is the one that I wanted to show you that I just added to the collection. Now, this one actually was designed by uh, John Galliano. Now, the saddlebag actually uh, is his whole design. But this particular one is one that's not just, you know, with the normal Christian Dior monogram and all that. And this one gives me uh, tribal vibes. It gives me, uh, you know, all kinds of vibes, like a bohemian chic cutout, like... It has lots and lots of beautiful pieces to it. Uh, it's it's gorgeous. This one is going to be a uh, an original saddlebag. Now I do have uh, a newer oblique as well that is a, a really beautiful rose color, and it has a magnetic closure versus these. Uh, I've got five original obliques and then one newer model, uh, modern uh, saddlebag in my collection that is a rose gold. And uh, if you're interested in this one, this one is going to be $2,995. This one is a brushed antiqued gold hardware, not a high polished gold. If you like a high polished gold, I've got those two. They're just in the other room. And so uh, while we're in here with this lighting and this setup, I just figured I would take advantage of showing you as many bags as I possibly could. While we're in here, we might as well take a look at what's in here available for sale. Uh, let me show you this as well. This is a little Dolce Gabbana. And so is this. These are both Dolce Gabbanas. If you're interested in either one of those, uh, all you gotta do is just let me know and I will tell you the price either during the live or if you're watching down in the replay. Uh, there's also three other shows y'all to watch in the replays. Uh, one from... Uh, this week already, I think, and then another, like, all of them are recent. So, within the last week or so, there's about three shows that you can watch a replay on and be able to see, uh, you know, what's going on, how we're selling stuff, etc. Now, as far as what's spinning up there now... The Dolce Gabbana's, uh, the Dolce Gabbana's, uh, the Dolce, uh, this one here is just a little, uh, cosmetic toiletry, uh, this is, I love you, uh, it's a pink Safiano type leather, 
And this one is like brand new. It's four nine five or best offer. It is a limited piece. Uh, it is like new, as you can see. Uh, and you're just gonna have to be somebody that really loves that abstract. Like it, it's almost like a kid uh, painted that one. It's very abstract. And then this one is gonna be like a little dinner bag. I feel like uh, this is actually a trifold wallet. That's a wallet on the chain, and she's adorable. Uh, she just not has not found her her right girl yet. Uh, but I love this one. This one has like an art pop to it and it has lots of flowers and lots and lots of glitter as you can see. Uh, say glitter. I, I must say, I should say glitz and glamour is what I should say. Uh, but it's like an art pop vibe and it comes up off of the top of the, fl um, the flap. This one has no signs of wear and it is a, just a trifle while on the chain. You could take it off the chain off too. It does come off and then just carry it by the little top handle. This one is, I believe, $12.95 or best offer. Uh, this is a six by three and a half by 11. Six by three and a half by 11. Six by three and a half by 11. Ooh, oh, hold, hold on. I forgot its little holder. This one sits so nicely on this little holder. This is also a little Safiano leather. So just FYI. So that's that one. Here, let me put her over here for you. And then, let's see. I'll put this over here if you want while we're, while we're feasting our eyes on things. Uh, this is a little Tiffany locket bracelet here. Several pieces of Tiffany. There's also some fine jewelry there as well. I think that's a really good show of a lot of the stuff in here. I can't show you everything in here, but that's a pretty damn good show. Uh, I did show this last time uh, in the in the last show, I believe, if you have any interest in that one. And then up here, we've just got like little bitty micro. Uh, this is a Christian Dior to your right to left. And then uh, this is, a, I believe, a 10 karat gold rope. And then this is a 10 karat gold rope as well. Just a little bitty tiny. Uh, a little bitty tiny opportunities to get something sparkly. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to take you into the other room now. Uh, I think that's a really good, uh, I'm impressed with that. I'm, I'm good with that, that instructional. Uh, this is also something that's available if you're interested, if you're a Louis Vuitton girl. Uh, I was, uh, uh wearing my calfskin, uh, shoes and my, uh, brown damier, uh, belt earlier in one of my advertisements for the show. Uh, this is available if you're interested. This is in really great shape. This is 995. If you're a satchel girl, she has no feet. Uh, it's a top handle, more little top handle mini satchel uh and it does have a flap to get into this one is a snap flap open with all other interiors a gold hardware and this one is in really really good shape uh this one only has just a tiny bit of hair loss here and i think if i remember correctly that's about it uh oh th there's another one very tiny right there uh but i was able to conceal that one pretty pretty good but these generally have lots of uh, fur loss and hair loss, which unfortunately, you, this one speaks to you. I, I love this one. Everybody always loves this, but uh, you just got to remember that it's fur and uh, you don't want to get it wet. Um, and that's it. This one's a gorgeous though. Um, but I kind of just kind of hidden her around. Uh, it looks like she does sit on her butt though, if you're really gentle here. Hold on. I'll let her spin for you. Uh, let's see. What else do I got back here? I guess I could uh, show you some stuff that's like right here on the shelf. Here, hold on. We need to go through some of the stuff on the shelf back here, but there's just so much. Okay, and then there's that one. Uh, if you're interested, again, that one's 995, and I can list that one. I don't think she's listed yet. Uh, this is also available. This one is a 12.95. I love this color. My Kelly bag is in this color. 
and this is a really cute little crossbody opportunity. Uh, that one uh, is twelve nine five or best offer. Uh, nine by six by four with a 23 inch drop on that particular one. If you are a Saint Laurent, that one's going to be a newer model than a lot of my YSL because a lot of my YSL are going to be uh, older and vintage uh, versus uh, newer. Um, so just FYI. But this one is super cute. I love the size on this one. I actually bought this for me. I think I buy all of them for me in the very beginning, and then I think, well, you know, I don't think I can keep all of these. Uh, but I love the size of this one because the size is so easily to use, and it's a more of a, a, a normal size bag. This is a, a nine and a half. No, it's 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 nine and a half probably in the inside, but it's ten from end to end. And then uh, as far as the width goes, it's a five, and then uh, it's a five by six. So five by six by ten. Probably nine and a half in the interior. And she does have some feet. So anyway, I love this one. Again, it's twelve nine five or best offer. Um, and again, all the bags that are over $1,000, y'all, uh, are uh, uh, free expedited shipping. And it's next day. So uh, if you were to buy today, you should have something uh, in your order uh, if it's over $1,000 by Tuesday at noon. Uh, this is just a little... Um, Celine Cosmetic Toiletry Bag. Uh, there was somebody that asked me about this a couple of days ago. This has been a really cute, popular bag. There's been a lot of people that have wanted this, but it's expensive. And so uh, this is more modern uh, than a lot of the MCMs that I have. Uh, this one is $12.95 or best offer, and it's a three-piece. This comes off, and you can use this as a little mini bag. This can be used as a crossbody by itself. And then you've got your little coin or like what I put in this is my uh, key fob for my car. I don't think that's listed, but I'm happy to list it for you if you want. So that Celine uh, is a perfect opportunity to store like uh, cosmetics that are tall. That's what I recommend that you do is stack the cosmetics that don't need to be spilt. And then you can stick it exactly like this in your luggage so that they're hypothetically not going to leak all over the place. That's what I like about that size anyway, uh, is the mojo that you're, you should be able to stack your uh, cosmetics and stuff upward versus it just flying all over the damn place. Uh, this particular MCM has a, oh, it's a definitely a satchel. It's got a wrinkled gathered kind of vibe to it. This one also has a locking locking zipper pulls with its lock if you're interested and then i've got this right here <laughs> bring out the kate milton uh yeah th that color i have a kelly bag in too so i love the color uh this is a navy blue and a white canvas if you're interested and this bucket bag And then if you you like this size, but this is not your brand, uh, this has also uh, been a pretty popular request uh, about what it is, what color it is, how much it is, what size it is. Uh, it's a really pretty YSL. A Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, this particular one I've already gone over. I think I redid this one, if I remember correctly, on Poshmark Live. And uh, I just added some color to the corners and moisturized the leather and cleaned the hardware up as best I could. And it does have its original leather zipper pulls. If you're a YSL girl, she's just a really cute line. And uh, I, if I remember correctly, there was uh, several uh, YSL uh, fiends that said that this was a pretty rare bag. And I agreed. I always have an eye for the, the rare ones. But I love the color. That's the thing is the color... Like that Bordeaux, that beautiful Bordeaux color. Okay, so I'll put that one up. This one's twelve nine five or best offer if you're interested. And the dimensions are a mystery. Uh, if you're interested, I'll get your dimensions though. Okay, so let's get out of here and go show something else. Let's go into the other room. I'm going to uh, physically move you for the time, sake of time. Okay, so if I take you back in here, 
we can talk about some of the bags that are in here. Let me go get my uh, my computer, my central command center. Watching on uh, Instagram, uh, if you join my app, you can actually watch us on the app versus watching here. Okay. Let me push my computer in here and let me get set back up so I can go over some of the stuff in here. How many minutes have we been going? I need to look and see how many minutes we've been going. Tomorrow, I got a Chanel I need to wrap in the morning, get that out ASAP. Somebody bought a cosmetic bag, a Chanel. I'll show you what they bought. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Now then, let me push this out of the way and get this out of the way. Okay. Someone bought this uh, from the website. Uh, they did that, uh, I believe it was on uh, Saturday evening. Anyhow, uh, if you're interested in this particular uh, kind of size, I don't have another one. Too bad. Uh, but I do have one that's in box that's a caviar that's this size. This one's in really good condition. Uh, if you're interested in this one, uh, I could do like twelve nine five. It's Mark fourteen nine five. Uh, but if you're interested in this one, this would be perfect. You could carry this as a purse too. Uh, there's lots of people that will carry these as purse as purses. Uh, but it's a calfskin, or it's a calfskin that's a, a a textured leather. So, right here, if you wanted a matching set. These two would actually match. They're both caviar. So caviar meaning that they are a textured leather and is a created texture with a cat skin. This is probably the most versatile textile that you can buy at a Chanel. Now this is gonna be a 24 karat gold medallion bag and it's a trapezoid shape. A trapezoid shape. Here's the bottom. This one is gorgeous if you're interested. Uh, ooh, oh. uh, and then again, this one I could do with the box for $12.95. This one is $3,995. If you really wanted something like this, I could probably do like $3,400, but this one is perfect. Uh, absolutely perfection. Uh, I've already gone over this one and redid this one. And as you can see, I'm sure she, she looks really good on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here looking at this like, ooh, she looks so good on camera. Uh, and so this one also has the CC over here. Because you can CC, you can CC me. Uh, this one is gorgeous. If you have any interest in either one of these, then let me know. Uh, I have a whole table of these medallion bags. Uh, one in patent, uh, one in orange patent, one in lambskin. Uh, yes, I have a lambskin one. Uh, and the lambskin... Uh, what's the main difference between the lambskin versus the caviar is the lambskin is going to be a little bit more, uh, it's going to be a little bit less rigid. Uh, this is my table of Dior uh, saddlebags. Uh, so if you're inquiring about those, uh, there's a lot of coins on this table right here. And this is how I'm going to expect that you're going to display them in your home too, uh, is like their artwork, uh, like they are, uh, is their artwork. Now I sold this same style about a month ago for $5,000. Uh, and that's what they go for is about $5,000 with this $2,000 strap on top of it. Uh, so if you're looking at these, uh, the ones that I have with the strap uh, is going to be this one. Uh, and this one particular one 
uh, is $4,200. And that's with her strap. And her strap has a two-tone color of pink and navy blue. Uh, and uh, she's a high polish gold, as you can see. This one is gorgeous. This one's going to be an original oblique bag, uh, an oblique saddle bag with the big D down there. And these are going to be a Velcro, Velcro closure. Uh, this one, uh, this one is going to be the Bordeaux. And she is gorgeous. She has more of a Santa Fe vibe. Uh, more bohemian Santa Fe vibe with her strap. This one is $4,995, and that does include her strap as well. Um, and these are going to be a, a Velcro closure. Velcro closure. Whereas the newest one that I have is going to be this one. And this one is a magnetic closure. This is a different breed, same bag, but newer style as the one behind me. And she does not have the hook and loop. She only has a magnet. So uh, it's the same bag, painted hardware uh, versus gold or silver or an antique gold. The color is gorgeous. If you like this color, color is a blush color. And I have lots of very pretty colors like this. This is the bag that I have a girl that's going to buy this one at the end of the month if it's still here. Uh, this is going to be a, a patent, like, rose, pinky, lilac color. And these are kind of one and the same, but one is metallic. This one is not a metallic. It's more of just a flat, uh, really pretty rose color. I don't think this one is listed if you're interested. Uh, this one is a uh, 34.95, 34.95, 34.95, or best offer. So that's that one. And then I have this one. This one's a silver hardware, a silver high polished hardware right there, silver. And here's your uh, front. This one's going to be another oblique bag. This one is gorgeous, uh, a very light denim. Uh, I've worn this one several times. Love this one. I love the saddlebags. I just kind of, uh, got, uh, infatuated with the saddlebags and started buying a bunch of them. And here they are, uh, ready to go after I have authenticated and cleaned all of them. So those are my table of beautiful Dior's, uh, Dior saddlebags. Uh, I probably got about another 40 Dior bags in my collection, y'all. So, uh, will you see all of them today? Of course not. Uh, but you can go to my website and look at what's listed. Of course not. I can't show you everything in one day. I wish I could. There was a day and a time where I could show you my entire collection in one day. And now I think it would probably take me like a week to show you everything in my collection. So, uh, we just really need to know how much you're here to spend. And, uh, if you know any current direction. Uh, you know, what you'd like to see. Uh, but don't ask for an Everful. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we, we really loved uh, uh, to sell bags that are rare uh, and special. You can find an Everful anywhere. Um, how about one of these instead? This one is probably the most expensive uh, Dior bag that I've got in my collection. This is a Crocodile Lady Dior in a medium. Uh, there's a, like three of these in the entire country. Uh, if you're interested in this, this is very expensive. Uh, we need not ask prices. Just send money. Okay, so that's that one. She's very, very expensive. Uh, need not ask questions about how expensive she is. Uh, let me show you some Gucci's. Uh, these are uh, Gucci Dianas, uh, and then this little bamboo girl up here. Uh, this one is listed. There was somebody that asked about this and was inquiring, and then uh, they went a different way. So this is listed at LASLuxury.com if you're interested. Uh, so is this one. These are both Dianas. They're both gorgeous. They don't have any uh, peely or anything like that in the interior, which they're known for. Literally, that specific model is known uh, for peeling and being disgusting. Uh, and they still sell for like $800, which is insane. 
Uh, so these don't need anything at all. They're twelve nine five each if you're interested. So there's my uh, good chills. Okay. I showed you the Stellas, I think, in the last video. So I'm not going to show you those again. And I showed you the Bottegas, too, I'm pretty sure. Here, let me show you the Kelly bag really quickly. The Kelly bag. Uh, this is that blue that I was telling you about. Uh, that I love. And I love the blue and the purple. I have a purple Birkin. And the two colors contrast each other flawlessly. Uh, especially for a gentleman. Uh, because this particular blue isn't really feminine and or masculine. It fits in very neutral. Uh, that's part of the reason why I love this bag. So this one is fresh from the bag spa if you're interested. And she's also very expensive. Uh, she's about $12,000 or best offer if you're interested. This one comes... Uh, with all of her authentications, if you're interested. And uh, she's fabulous. This is from 1992. 1992! Uh, which is insane. So if you're interested in this particular one, uh, 1992. Wow. In 1992, I was in kindergarten. Uh, so that is amazing. I can only imagine being wealthy enough to carry this bag when I was in the kindergarten. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, so here's the the handle and everything. You don't really have to worry about anything with this one. You just need to figure out how you're going to pay for it. Uh, shop pay, I think, does not go up to $12,000. So you'll need to have a little bit of cash ready to go on that particular one. Okay? Just a little bit. Uh, the blue Lady Dior. Oh, that uh, patent leather one. Um, here, hold on, let me show you. This one? She's over here sitting. She's sitting on her chair. Hold on, let me see if I can get it over here without breaking shit. This one. This navy blue one. The navy blue one has a leather interior. That one's really pretty. Uh, but no, I don't think this one is listed. It might be listed. Let me see if I can find it. Hmm. Let's see. If we go to Elliot's Luxury. Here, let's use our app. If we use our app. So if you go to your app when you're shopping, if you're watching this later, if you go to the account down on the right side, you should be able to see uh, websites and such. And then you can shop. Oh, light blue. You're talking about the denim one. Yes, the denim one. Yeah, it's not listed. No, no, it is not listed. This one. Yeah, she's not listed. This one here, uh, this one uh, with the strap is going to be $4,000. Uh, it by herself uh, would be two nine nine five, or with this strap uh, would be two nine nine five because this is actually her original strap. Uh, she has a thin strap. Uh, so that's the price on this one uh, is $2,995 uh, without this large thick strap. This large thick strap actually goes with that other saddlebag over there. Uh, but if you're interested in her, Tracy, I'll list her for you if you want. We could do that after uh, after the uh, show is over. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I put the Dior, the Didim Dior on there. No, I did not. Uh, I'm kind of partial to my Dior's. I think uh, of all of the brands that I'm protective of in here, I think the Dior's are probably the most uh, protected ones in here. Let's see. I'm just trying to make sure that it's not listed. No, it's the only one. It's one of the ones that's not listed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can list that for you if you're serious about it. Uh, but like I said, it would be, uh, I would be firm at, at 2995 and that's our, yeah, $2,995. And that's with her little thin strap. If you want her with the other one, uh, she would be more, Probably three nine nine five with the the thicker strap, 
I like the thicker strap, but you're just going to have to make sure that it's something that you're wanting to pay for. Because uh, that's extra coinage. Extra. Extra coinage. To have to pay for. Okay, so anyhow, that being said, uh, I'm trying to think about, we're at like, what, an hour, hour, 19 minutes? It's a really good cutting off time. Really, really good cutting off time at this point. Let me get back over here to my multi-source, my multi-sources. Play. Play. Oh, oh, it doesn't look like, okay, it is playing. Okay, good. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it uh, right now. So if you want to buy something, send me a message on elliotsluxury.com and I'll talk to you soon.